tell about adventures. On today's edition of Tales, Tips, and Tidbits, I'd like to share some helpful hints and pointers for hiking. When you are planning your hike, there are a few things that you should consider. First of all, you want to figure out what the weather conditions will be. Secondly, what time of day you would like to do the hike. You also want to choose a trail with the conditions that you can handle. Think of things such as the elevation change, the length of the trail, and how rocky or smooth the terrain is. Tip number one for hiking is to dress properly. Now for your base layer, you want to have some sort of pants that are loose, stretchable material, preferably not jeans, that is easy to breathe and you can move around. Secondly, you want to dress in layers for the upper part. So for me, I have a tank top, a t-shirt, and then I'll be bringing a fleece with me, just in case it gets chilly. But for now, I'm going to put that in my backpack. You also want to have proper footwear. When it comes to socks, you want to have long socks with extra material around the base of your foot that can go up above your ankle. Now these are thin ones and these are some thick ones. Both of these are two different types of hiking socks. The reason that you want long socks for when you're hiking is so that you don't get any bugs crawling on your legs and up in your pants and you don't want to get your legs scratched up either. The next thing that you need is a sturdy pair of hiking boots. One that gives you support around your ankles that has good traction. This way, if you are walking in any kind of muddy terrain or in puddles, your feet don't get wet and gives you traction for walking over rocks. So after you have assembled your attire, you wanna make sure that you're bringing an extra layer with you. Before I talked about my fleece jacket that I'll be bringing, but if the weather is questionable, you want to bring either a rain jacket or a rain poncho with you. If you don't have a rain jacket, you can easily find a rain poncho at a store, a couple of bucks, throw it in your bag with you. So it's always good to be prepared. We had our rain jackets in our backpacks, so we're taking a second to put them on. But poor Bean does not like getting wet, so he is trying so hard to not get wet. And speaking of bags, there are two different types of backpacks that I would recommend bringing. One is this hydration pack here, which you would fill up with water. It's got a nifty little straw to sip water from, and it has a couple of pockets so that you can put your wallet, your keys, your phone, a couple of snacks, and anything else you need. You can see there's a snack in there right now. If you don't have one of these, and you're maybe just not ready to make the investment yet because these can be kind of pricey, then look around at home, see if you have a backpack that's got wide straps. You don't want any of those string bags because that'll cut off circulation in your shoulders. You want a backpack with wide straps like this, cushion perhaps, also with several pockets. And this one has an external pocket for a water bottle. Additionally, if you have long hair, you want to make sure that you pull your hair back into a ponytail or some sort of braid. This is to not only keep the hair out of your face while you are climbing or hiking, but also to make sure that no bugs jump in your hair while you're walking by or any twigs or branches get stuck. So there's two different types of hiking sticks that I'd like to show you. The first one is your standard metal pole that is adjustable in length. You can find these at most sporting goods stores. And the second one that we have is this wooden one that comes in three sections and you just twist them together. And this is also how I can keep my souvenirs from places I've been when hiking. My little hiking medallions. All right, so now I think we're just about ready to go. What happens if you get hungry while you're out? That's where some snacks come in. So my personal favorite is making trail mix. So I'll take some peanuts, cranberries, raisins, and M&Ms, occasionally some dried fruit if I come across them in the store. Mix them in a big bowl, and then I'll separate them into little travel-sized containers. Whatever's left over, 
I'll put it in a nice container, put it away for the next hike. Now you don't have to make your own trail mix, you can buy them in the store, but I find it's a lot cheaper and you use less plastic if you make them yourself. Granola bars are a hiker's best friend if you don't have trail mix. They're easy enough to slip in a pocket, but just make sure that you pack in and pack out. So if you're bringing garbage in with you, make sure you bring that same garbage out. Some other healthy snacks that you can bring are apples, carrots, and sandwiches. Probably the most important thing you need to remember when you go hiking is to stay hydrated. So in this little hydration pack, you would untwist the cap and you would just fill this with water, your choice if it's filtered or straight from the tap, until it's full. Twist it back on. Be careful not to overpack, and then when you try to twist it back on, it goes everywhere. If you don't have a hydration pack, you can just use water bottles that you have at home. So my rule of thumb is a half of a water bottle for every mile that I'm hiking. Obviously, if you are hiking in extremely hot temperatures, for dry areas, dry regions, you want to bring extra water. So typically I'll bring two water bottles with me, then I'll keep a third one in the vehicle so that I still have something to drink when I come home. But since this one stays on the outside, I usually fill this one up first. I'll keep my second one inside the backpack itself, and then when this is empty, I'll just open it up, refill, Last but not least, you want to be prepared. Before you head out on your hike, make sure that you have either a paper version or a digital version of the map of the trail that you're about to go on. Also, if you are hiking alone, tell somebody where you're going and the expected time that you'll be back, just in case something happens, like you twist an ankle and fall or God forbid anything else happens. You also want to make sure that your phone is fully charged before you head out and bring a spare battery for your phone. In case your power runs out on your phone, you're able to charge it to contact in an emergency. You should also have a first aid kit with you, even a basic one. In my first aid kit, I have some hand sanitizer, some tissues, and some band-aids with an antiseptic wipe. It's up to you what kind of things you'd like to keep in your personal kit, but this is basically what I keep in the front of my backpack. You also should be prepared with some sunscreen or a hat and bug spray. If you are heading into the woods, make sure you get something that is strong, such as the deep woods version from off that'll help pre uh, prevent, deter ticks and mosquitoes. And if you are out West, get some bear spray. Go that way, there's a bear. There's a bear, probably about no, really? on the trail. Really? So. On the trail, a little Just black bear. Take your time wow. Yeah. So, if you enjoyed today's video of tales, tips, and tidbits on hiking, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below if you have any other tips or suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button. And we'll see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Ciao!